Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the week of the 7th through the 13th of May. I will be using the Art of Adventure Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using Clarity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. And taking care of yourselves. So, let's see what messages we have for you. So Aquarius, this is going to be for you. <clears throat> the two of wands. I'm sorry, two of swords. <laughs> I said that with such surety. Huh? The two of swords. Got a decision to make. You're a little tied up about it. The nine of wands. Something keeps happening. It's the same thing over and over again. It's the same issue coming. It re it's re it, re ah, it repeats itself. <laughs> Sometimes my tongue gets tied up. Or it seems like every time you get knocked down, you get back up. You're resilient. However, I got the devil card. So this is the, the nine of wands. And then I got the devil. Now, this could be something that's unhealthy in your environment. Um, it could be from sadness. It could be whatever this reoccurring issue is. It could be unhealthy. Okay? It's something negative in your environment. And it causes confusion and chaos. That's the tower. Then the king of pentacles. This is a earth energy. This could be a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn. Now this person, or it could be you thinking about business, um, making a business decision, acting on a business decision, or it could be that you are firm, you're stable financially, okay? Or some money is coming in. But basically, you take care of business. But you've got something going on here. I don't know what it is. And then the lovers, it might have something to do with love. Something from the past that you're holding on to maybe that's causing a lot of chaos and confusion. Come on now. The six of cups. Ten of wands. And the two of wands. Seems like you got a lot of loads you're carrying, something heavy on you, but you still keep pushing through it. Now, the nine of wands can also be saying that you are resilient. You know, every time, like I said, you they knock you down, you keep standing back up and you keep fighting. And the two of wands, you're longing for something, planning, making progress. Want to go on a trip, want to take a break, but you're thinking of something. So let's see what the Two of Swords says. I got the Two of Swords on top of the Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. Whatever decision that you have to make, you will be able to make it. You will be successful, okay? You're just going to have to take a minute, look at the situation before you make the decision. Just have faith, okay? 
Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. You will be successful. Okay? You'll be able to make the right decision. Just got to believe in yourself. Seriously. <laughs> okay, and the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Let's see. You got the Four of Cups here and you got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. Hmm. All right. So you're withdrawing your affection from something or someone. Ah, someone. It was um. It was something romantic and passionate. The Knight of Wands is an enjoyable and uncommitted affair. Maybe. Not sure. Or maybe you met someone and, you know, and not necessarily a fair, a fair like in cheating, you know. It could just be like a short-term romance, a rendezvous. But for some reason, that got you all tied up. Is it because you started withdrawing your feelings, your emotions and stuff? Your affections? And it's causing turmoil. That's the temperance card. And the five of pentacles. So whatever is going on, just be patient. I know right now it has you in your head a lot because it's a lot of chaos and confusion around you because of you withdrawing, um, withdrawing your affections or, you know, pulling away from the person. <clears throat> You're in your head. Just be patient, okay? This is temporary. This feeling is temporary. The five of pentacles. It's the mindset of lack. It's just because you have some confusion going on around you, okay? I just want you to take a deep breath. And breathe it all out. All that darkness, okay? All that. Just breathe it out. Just breathe it out and let it go. So let's see the tower. Power. You got the Five of Swords, Arguments. But it's not the answer. And this person that you're arguing with might be an Earth energy here. I got the King of Pentacles here. So it's neither male or female, okay? This is just the action. And the females are just the more emotional thinkers and stuff like that. So they can be either or, male or female. It's just you're acting on something, you're doing something, you know, or you're, you're just thinking about it, you know, you're pondering what to do. But I have kings here, so you're acting on something. And it could be that you're arguing with this king of pentacles too. Oh. That's a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles. That's who you're arguing with. Something tumbled down. Something happened. It was chaos. Might have had to do with lovers. The Eight of Cups on top of the King of Pentacles. Somebody is walking away or thinking about walking away. It caused chaos in your life. The Three of Swords, a broken heart, arguing, quarreling with each other. But you got to ask yourself, is this union worth saving? It might be, eh? but you have free will. So whatever you decide or whatever they decide. So you have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords here. The King of Pentacles, this earth energy caused the confusion. Oi. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> we will use that one. I will pick up 
these. So this one here is the Fool on top of the Lovers. Maybe not all is lost. Something is bringing you a new beginning. There's going to be a new beginning. This arguing isn't going to last long. I think there will be a walk away. And there you are. It's a new beginning for you, Aquarius, the King of Swords. The Fool and the King of Swords and the Lovers. There's some kind of new beginning with love for you. And it's something from the past. Or maybe you're having memories of the past. Either way, it's however it resonates with you, okay? If it doesn't resonate, just leave it alone. The past gave you happy memories. You're thinking happy things, happy family. You were very happy. You had new beginnings, you had joy and a lot of, oh my goodness, you had a lot of thoughts about it or you have a lot of thoughts. You're wishing for it. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. On top of the past. Maybe for some of you it was something very good. Made you feel great. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Sometimes, you know, people have to separate in order to grow. I feel like, I feel that. Um, they separate um, and sometimes they come back together even stronger. And sometimes they don't. And you just are left with beautiful memories. And that's okay. Just don't let memories weigh you down like this, okay? If it does that to you, you got to go and do some healing. So let's see, the Ten of Wands. We're not going to have that, okay? We're going to turn this thing around. You're going to have a little conflict within yourself. That's what's probably giving you a little burden, probably whatever took place. You got a little, you know, I mean, a little uh, chaos. You got some friction going on. I got the five of wands. But the star card, there is hope for the future. So, I mean, you're still moving, even though you got extra responsibility or you got you, you, you feel a little overladen. And you're having a little conflict within the five of wands and the star card. Seems like everything will work out. The star card says it does. There's hope for the future. So things will work out. You just got to keep thinking that, okay? And every time you start feeling those little feelings of shakiness and anxiety and fear or whatever, or sadness, whatever the dark feeling is, because those are dark feelings. Breathe and let them go and try to bring yourself back up to feeling the way you should feel, peaceful. So let's see, the Two of Wands. On top of the Two of Wands, we got the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Now, this might be a, um, a water energy in your environment. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Or it could be that you're feeling kind of sensitive, kind of romantic. Let's use that word. Maybe you're feeling a little romantic. You're stable emotionally. And the Four of Pentacles, you're stable and secure. On top of the Two of Wands, you got the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. And I would say that, that looks pretty good. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon, okay? Bye.